Now this isn't this is not longitude latitude coordinations. This is numbers of a coordination map of Macondo Block, uh, Mississippi Canyon Block 252. This is a point on a survey map. There's no well M52. All right. There's well A and well B in Mac in uh, in Mississippi Canyon Block 252. All right. So let's go back to the uh, the PDF. All right. Now, anchor radius, uh, 400 feet, 400 foot anchor radius, uh, 4,600 foot anchor radius. That's meaningless to me. Surface location, excuse me. Surface location. Here's the number of the lease, OCS G 32306. Anyone in real estate uh, who knows what this number means exactly, you should look it up because this is the number of the lease for the land. The area. The area in the del uh, the area in the Gulf is area name MC, which means Mississippi Canyon. The block of the area is block number 252. Now listen, I was a land I used to be a land surveyor. Okay, that's what this is. This is a block and lot number. That's what this. This is a survey number. The reference to a survey map. Now, these locations, now they give you the Lambert XY coordinates of well A. Because why? This is well location A. That's what we're looking at here. All right? We're not even talking about B. We're not talking about the location of, M60, uh, of, uh, of MC252. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the location of well A in block 252 of the Mississippi Canyon. Okay? That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about the whole area, just the location of the well within the area. And the coordinates are, the X coordinate is 1202803.88. And the Y coordinate, this is the north coordinate. The X coordinate is the east coordinate. The Y coordinate is 1043161700. Now, let's go back to the numbers that I wrote down. All right? The number I wrote down, okay, I got them right here. The east coordinate was 1202799. Okay? Now look at the coordinate that they have for the x coordinate. 1202803. Now if you round if you round 99 up, okay? You get 12028. So that's pr as close to 12028 as you're going to get. And that's the the x location for well A. The well that was abandoned. Okay? Now the other coordinate. 1043167. Uh, now let's look at this. This is the actual information that I just took from the rover. 104316. Okay? 1610. Uh, now that's only... Uh, seven numbers away, six, seven numbers away from the decimal point. That's only, uh, let's say, if you add seven to the number that I took off the rover, okay, it would equal this exact Y coordinate, which is the north coordinate of the well, well A. All right? Now, I know I'm, it sounds like I'm being annoying, but I'm trying to be extra redundant so that it really gets hammered into your head what's really going on here. Now, here are the latitude and longitude coordinates, all right? So if you want to find this on uh, Google Maps or anything, or Bing Maps, this is what you do. You plug these numbers in, and it'll, you'll, it'll give you the exact coordinates, all right? Now, this is where, this is what the, we're seeing on TV. Let's look at the coordinates for uh, wellhead B, shall we? Now, this wellhead B is the second well that was drilled. Now, this is according to the theory that there are two wells, in fact, drilled. We don't know for sure if there are two wells that were drilled. The only indication that we have is the testimony of Mike Williams that said that the first well, the uh, 60 minutes that said that they had problems with the well, and then that led to the abandonment of the well. Now, he didn't actually say it completely, but that's what the 60 minutes guy said. Okay, so I'm assuming that that's what he told them. But he did say that, the, 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 that there were problems and the well was abandoned. So, anyone who wants to verify that, you can do that. But I don't need that verification because I had it right in front of me. This is well location B, okay? Surface location, all right? Here's the lease for, for look, look, let's see if the, I'm sure that the lease is the same exact number as the one above. Let's see, OCSG 32306, right? 
Okay, let's go and let's look at the uh, the last one. Let's look at the least number for uh, well A. Just so you see what I'm talking about here. All right. Ah, you see, OCSG three two three zero six, the same exact least number. Now, if we were just talking about wells, all right. If we're talking about two different wells, then why do they have a different least number? Because the least number is not for the well. The least number is for the area and block in the Gulf. Okay? It has nothing to do with the well. Like BP is telling you there's such a thing as an MC-252 well. There's no such thing as an MC-252 uh, no MC well like they had on their web page. Okay? That's bogus. The area is MC-52. The block is 252. The coordinates of well B, okay, you see we're back on well B. The coordinates of well B in this coordinate system, which is probably a surveyor, some sort of surveyor's thing, okay, is 1202514. That's the east coordinates. And uh, Y coordinates is 10434194. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I dare you to find these coordinates anywhere on the rovers, okay? You won't find them. And if you do, I guarantee you they're going to be over a location with that's gushing crap from the seafloor, okay? Because according to Matt Simmons, if you believe Matt Simmons, okay, Matt Simmons is saying that, in fact, the real leak is a gushing hole, okay? Now, these coordinates are only a, a few f uh, hundred feet from each other. All right. If, you, if this is actually uh, in feet, and I think uh, some form, probably a decimal form of inches, probably in tenths, if, if I'm not mistaken. But these are, are foot coordinates. Now this would indicate that that the wells are only a few hundred feet apart from each other. All right. Now anyone who's been paying attention to the rover cams has seen the rovers go to other, like other areas nearby and seen gushing stuff coming out of the sea bottom myself included and it's not just the rover kicking up dust on the bottom of the seafloor all right i've watched tens and probably over a hundred probably hundreds of hours of of rover footage and i eventually have come to the conclusion that yes we are looking at we are looking at stuff gushing from beneath the seafloor and not just the rover kicking up dust